Ever since the 80s, it's been quite tough. The award for this quick game changer of 2021 is the wonderful Deborah Francis White. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I didn't expect this at all, and uh, but I, I twigged when I heard the guilty feminist, and I thought, well, someone else is, is, has said they've started it. Anyway, I am so honoured. Well, I'm so, I was such a big fan of yours as a kid in Australia. Your shows were on my television all the time. They, they were repeated every single night. So I thought this is a little bit surreal, uh, getting this from you, but also, I mean, Helen, you're amazing. Getting a Game Changer Award from you, I feel like there are just so many... Listen, I'm not self-deprecating. Obviously, I'm great. But <laughs> there are so many women in this room who have changed so many games that I feel in this context, this award is a bit unfair. Um, I'm not saying I haven't changed any games, but I'm just saying <laughs> other people here have really seriously changed hardcore games. And... Uh, come, and they just, I think every generation comes through and changes the game for the one underneath them. And so I'm looking at, you know, Kathy Lett here, who's, I mean, I was raised in Australia, yeah. and I just, you know, you were this sort of icon for me. So I just feel like, it, the, just, we should all just keep on changing games. And we need to keep being visible, we need to keep making trouble, we need to keep asking for more. Um, I wrote a poem in The Guardian about this, which caused some blowback, but I'm just like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like with television, I'm looking at it and going, you know, someone said to me, you'll burn your bridges. I said, what bridges? <laughs> <laughs> I said, they're not bridges yet, they're kidding me. I can have this tiny piece of bridge and I can hardly lie, it's gone out already. That's how small the piece of bridge I've got is. So quite relaxed then, okay. <laughs>